Good morning, everybody. Welcome again to our Sunday morning service. We are truly hoping that you've had a blessed week, that you've been able to feel and, and know the presence of God around you during the week, and trust that you will be blessed by our service this morning. It is still a privilege to be able to meet even under these circumstances, and we hope to soon be able to meet in person once again under the fellowship of brothers and sisters in Christ, and to be able to enjoy um, meeting together with Him. As we come together this morning, um, I pray that you will be blessed by the message and the music that we'll be able to enjoy, even though not together, still together and unified in Christ. Uh, we are starting up a number of different Bible studies this week, so please contact the relevant people. Um, and it is fantastic news that we are able to start that up again. And um, we're looking forward to some positive news in terms of starting up church services at the church again. And um, just follow or just look, watch, watch out carefully for any messages that come through um, either via email or on the WhatsApp group from the admin. Our reading this morning comes from Psalm 42, and many of you will recognize the start of it, but I want to read the entire psalm to be able to get a good picture of what is going on here. Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God. For I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. My soul is downcast within me. Therefore I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep, in the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I say to God my rock, Why have you forgotten me? Why must I go out, more, go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you downcast, my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him my Saviour and my God. What wonderful words from the poets as they remember that doesn't matter what the circumstances, doesn't matter what is going on within the physical realm around us, that our soul desires the truth to seek after God, to be able to worship Him, to be with Him. And even under these circumstances, the physical circumstances do not prevent the wonderful presence of God being with us and the hope that we have in the knowledge that we will one day be with Christ, be with God, um, and our souls will continue to be at peace for eternity. What a wonderful blessing, what a wonderful knowledge that we have in, that, in the grace of God. As we come to some prayer now, let's remember those who are suffering within our community, remember those who are perhaps losing sight of the hope that we have in God, as mentioned in the psalm, and pray that God draws near to all of those. But not only that, but that God draws near to those that he is calling to him, that they may come under his wing and know his grace and his peace. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that within everything that is going on, no matter what it is, Lord, our hope lies in you, the only true living God. 
the God who restores our soul. And for us to have that hope, Lord, is so fantastic and so marvelous. And Lord, we pray for those who are losing sight of that hope. We pray that you visit them in a mighty way to renew and to refresh that hope. That hope that lies in you alone and not in circumstances or what surrounds us. And that as we continue to seek after your truth that is in your Bible, that is in your word that you have given us, that our hope will continue to grow and that you will sustain us through all of that. And Father, as we pick up and, and start our Bible studies and our home groups again this week, I pray for your blessing upon that. I pray for the, the absolute wonder of fellowship that we can once again experience with each other. And that as we delve into your word, seeking after your truths, that we may continue to grow closer and closer to you. And Father, we just pray for communities around uh, South Africa, around the world, that your hope will be seen through the people that you have called within those communities. And that through that hope, you will draw men to you. And Lord, as we go into a time of praise and worship now, we just want to bring and open our hearts before you to be able to draw close to you and to seek after you. And Lord, as we sit under the teaching of your word by Andrew, I pray that you just give him the words that you want to speak, Lord, and that the ministry might come from you through Andrew and through your word to meet the needs of your church at Moy River Baptist Church. Amen. I trust you enjoy the service. I trust that you will uh, keep your minds and your hearts open to receive the blessing and the hope that is in God alone. God bless.